hello everyone welcome back to my channel and this is Irfan and today's in this section I am going to explain uh, the importance of dunning the dunning hole end-to-end -end configuration we will discuss so basically uh, the dunning means it's uh, the word it's derived from German language uh, which means uh, reminder in SAP uh, the dunning means we will be sending the dunning reminders to a customer for their overdue items okay let's suppose we have a few customers they have uh, overdue items many overdue items are there so in th what dunning will do system will summarize all those line items in the dunning form and ask for the payment to be made at the earliest in this dunning we have uh, many options like uh, we can charge the amount uh, for those dunning dunning charges and interest all those options we have so now we we'll see the configuration in SAP Prospective. Let's go. Uh, I'm accessing the transaction uh, code SPRO path first. And SAP reference IMG. To access the Dunning path, we need to go to financial accounting first. And then accounts receivable and payables. And then here uh, business transactions. Now here you can see the dunning. So just expand this one. So first of all, we need to do some basic configuration. So that is, uh, let's start it with the, the basic setting. Let's expand this basic settings one. And then uh, we have the first step would be define dunning areas. So uh, first of all, I will explain what is the importance of a dunning area. So let's suppose uh, if, if the business requirement is to have uh, different different forms need to be created uh, let's suppose uh, we have a customers of uh, for this region we have this much customer and another region we have this much customer uh, if the business want to send the uh, reminder notice in their own language or own country uh, country language so in that case we can use this dunning area and also uh, we can we can use this dunning area if let's suppose uh, for normal transaction i can use uh, dunning uh, so and so uh, which i have created 001 and uh, i will be creating another dunning procedure with a 002 this dunning procedure only for the uh, special gl transaction likewise also we can use so in my case i'm uh, creating this dunning area just execute this one and then click on new entries here okay and my company code is a 2000 and here my i'm mentioning my dunning area as a 01 and the text would be like uh, for every 10 days normal customer invoices and if you want to if you want to create a separate dunning procedure for the special GL transaction again you just mention the company code and you mention 0 to here and here you can mention special GL that's it And come one step back here and then uh, go to the defined dunning block reasons so there is no action from uh, defined dunning keys it's already set up the standard thing we are using so I'm using this uh, defined dunning block reasons just execute this one so uh, what is the importance of dunning block reason means uh, let's suppose I have a uh, three customers out of these three customers uh, for the, all the three customers I have a uh, due items so whenever I am executing the dunning program system will pick all the three customers line items if it is has overdue item so and one customer out of these three customers one customer has called me uh, and he said uh, he will be making the payment by tomorrow at any cost so he has promised saying that uh, he will be make the payment so in that case there is no sense to send the running reminder to that customer 
so to exclude that customer uh, we need to create a uh, dunning block reason if you want you can use the already uh, standard thing otherwise you can create a, your you can create a customized one as well so just clicking on a new entries and then just mention the reason like z you can mention the description as a customer promise payment and then click on save and then go back one more step back now the exact configuration we will be doing now this is the main important configuration in dunning so define dunning procedure so just click on execute and the transaction code would be fbmp you can see here so here in this screen we will be having multiple uh, fields will be there multiple steps we need to perform so the first step we need to create the procedure first just select this new procedure and then mention your uh, dunning procedure so in my case i'm mentioning my dunning procedure as uh, 2000 and here i would be mentioning uh, what is this dunning pro proposal uh, sorry dunning procedure so for this uh, in my case this dunning procedure would be uh, i want for uh, for normal customer invoice posting not a special gl posting for the special gl posting i will create the other uh, dunning procedure okay so i will be mentioning uh, for every 10 days normal customer posting Ten days. Normal customer posting, and then here we have a uh, dunning interval in days. It means uh, the what should be the gap between one reminder to another reminder. So let's suppose I have uh, executed this program on May thirty first today, May thirty first, and when the next dunning reminders sh should be executed the reminder notice should be sent so as we have discussed earlier i want uh, to send the dunning reminder to, for every 10 days so in my example i will be taking a uh, 10 days then hit enter and number of remind number of dunning levels in sap we can create a number uh, nine maximum nine dunning levels we can create and but in my case i will be creating a phone for four levels here and then hit enter specify the normal transaction special okay will come here later total due items for dunning level so total due items means so system should consider all the due items or uh, so it means we need to uh, mention the dunning level here if i mention four in the dunning level four it will mention all the total due line items let's suppose uh, for first level of dunning it has only two line items let's suppose in third level it has uh, four line items and at the time of fourth level when i'm executing it has the own 16 line items or due item then what it will do it will capture all the due line items in the fourth level likewise in minimum days in areas and the line item grace periods these two functionalities are same a line item grace period means so let's suppose uh, let's suppose i have an invoice which is uh, posted on april 1st and at the time of uh, april 10th till april 10th it's a due and when it's come to the april 11 it will be overdue and then uh, when i execute this program dunning program system will pick that line item if i mention the grace period as a two then system will at the 11th day uh, system will not consider this line item because i have mentioned the grace period so what system will do system will wait for two days like 11 and 12 when i execute the program on 30th then system will pick that line item so that is the functionality of uh, line item grace here so just select this one and hit enter and then uh, interest indicator uh, if we have any interest uh, calculation 
thing we can mention the interest calculation in my case uh, no interest would be calculated and uh, public holiday calendar id so just click on f4 and uh, find your country So when you mention the public holidays, uh, the calendar uh, ID, so what system will do, system will ignore those holidays and then it will calculate. So in my case, uh, standard dunning. And done special GL transaction. As we discussed earlier, uh, we have, I will be creating uh, another dunning procedure for this, uh, to done the special, only special GL transaction. So this dunning procedure only for my uh, normal customer invoice posting. So I'm ignoring this step and then dunning even for credit account balance. So I'm giving a check mark this because uh, in some cases we will be having uh, the dunning program will work not only for customer. In some reasons it will also work for the vendors as well. Let's suppose I have uh, I have brought some uh, some goods from one vendor. And when I when the goods has been received to the my warehouse, I found it that uh, some of the goods has been uh, damaged. So I have returned those goods to the uh, vendor. So and I have already made the payment for this. So uh, vendor is liable to make the payment to me though for those damaged product, damaged goods. So for the so a vendor has a credit balance, he has to pay for me. So for those line items also, system will consider for the dunning we can also send the reminder notice to our vendor for this scenario so in the reference dunning procedure uh, no need to maintain anything just uh, hit enter when system will pick our dunning procedure okay then click on dunning levels here so here we can see uh, dunning days in areas here system has given two and uh, system has not uh, by system defaultly system should have to calculate this thing but it's not calculated once again come one step back you must enter the days in area strictly ascending order okay 12 22 and 32 So for the first dunning level, I have mentioned uh, I have mentioned the grace period as a two. So it will be after two days it will execute. Execute. It means uh, first twelve twelfth day it will execute, and then from first dunning to second dunning, the days gap would be twelve days. And from second dunning to throat dunning, the days gap would be and 20 second it will execute. After and the second uh, uh, throat dunning level to fourth dunning level, it would be select as a 32. And then if you have the interest calculation, you can give a check mark to calculate the interest. In my scenario, the interest calculation is not there. So here in the print parameters, uh, here I, I am selecting always done. and uh, print all items and the legal dunning procedure uh, always done in legal dunning procedure means uh, this will be done through the lawyer and all those procedure if you have any already created any custom uh, custom procedure or format uh, pdf format so we can use this option as well and then click on charges here Okay, and then mention your currency. In my case, the com company code currency would be USD. And I have a four level of dunning levels, three and four. So from done amount, uh, what would be the dunning amount actually? Uh, so here I will be mentioning thousand, thousand USD and 2000 usd and 3000 usd 
4000 USD and the charges would be 50 USD and 75 100 and 125 so till 1000 USD uh, if it is a 999 USD then system will not uh, not taking the charges if it is a more than thousand then only system will calculate the dunning charges for hold the dunning procedure at uh, for one dunning procedure whatever the all the line items are there it will check the calic uh, total calculation and then based on that total it will calculate the charges if it is thousand it will capture uh, it will charge a 50 if it is a more than uh, more than 2000 it, then it will calculate the charges as 75 and the next step would be uh, minimum amounts then click on the currency and uh, hit on enter so here we need to mention the dunning levels so what is the minimum amount to uh, to pick the line item so for in my case i will be mentioning the minimum amount as uh, 1000 2000 3000 and 4000 this is the minimum amount uh, to pick the line item and to capture in the dunning procedure and then uh, click on dunning text here and here we are going to assign the this dunning procedure uh, now till now we have created this dunning procedure at client level and after that we need to assign it to a company code level to pick the transactions so here i am going to assign this at uh, company code level here i have mentioned the company code and the customer and then select continue and here we will be assigning our uh, forms the pdf format uh, forms uh, which has been sent to a customer so my dunning procedure would be 01 every 10 days normal customer invoice so with the help of uh, dunning area here we can differentiate we can maintain the different different forms so if i select a 02 i would be selecting a another dunning form which has been uh, customized or any other formats so here the, i am selecting the form as the dunning form here the standard one okay and then come one step back and click on save so this is the process to uh, do the end-to-end -end configuration of the dunning dunning procedure configuration so in the next session we will see uh, how an uh, end user has to perform the transaction code uh, perform the end user activities okay that's all in this section thank you so much